to my friends, my name's Corrupt, and it is time to go over the up-to-date Town Hall 12 upgrade guide for 2021, starting off with the Town Hall boost. Once you upgrade to Town Hall 12, you'll get a Town Hall boost from upgrading. This is going to last 5 days, so you really want to try to take advantage of it. Now, the boost that you will get, such as the resource boost, which allows your resource collectors to be temporarily boosted, along with a power boost, which allows your troops and spells to be boosted to the maximum level that the laboratory can provide, that is, if you upgrade the laboratory, and of course, you'll also get a hero boost, plus five levels on all of your heroes. You'll even get a star bonus boost that will allow you to get more loot from your star bonus. Now let's move into the builder priority list by first starting with the new unlocks you get at Town Hall 12. This includes your new traps such as the Spring Traps, Seeking Air Mine, and Red Air Bomb along with the Giant Bomb. But also you get a 5th additional Hidden Tesla and a 3rd Inferno Tower. You also get a brand new offensive structure, the Siege Workshop, which allows you to, as the name suggests, build up seed machines. Outside of the new unlocks, let's go through the rest of the priority list. Let's start with your early upgrades and offensive upgrades. This is going to start off with your Town Hall, the Giga Tesla, your Laboratory, and your Clan Castle. The Town Hall becomes a lot more threatening and is definitely worth upgrading if possible. I would always recommend upgrading it to level 5 so you get that Giga Bomb. You should be upgrading your laboratory first. I would recommend either using a hammer or book of building on it so you can get it done instantly and then upgrade the CC. It's not nearly as important, but you do get a nice 40 housing space worth of troops. After this point, I would then go ahead and recommend upgrading the storages. Along with this, you should then go ahead and prioritize the army camps. This is a must to upgrade early on because you go from 260 camp space to 280. It is going to take you two weeks to finish this, so it is a long upgrade, but it is well worth the wait. After this point, you don't really need to upgrade these too soon, but I would definitely recommend upgrading your barracks. You'll be able to unlock the Yeti, which I have at level 2, but other than that, your next upgrade would be the Dark Barracks to get the Headhunters. The final upgrade that I would recommend is going to be the Workshop. It really comes down to personal preference, but on the offensive side, the Workshop is really not worth it unless you have excess elixir or of course you want to be able to donate to your clan mates other siege machines but that really definitely depends in terms of your hero priority upgrades you should always focus on the grand warden as he does not take dark elixir in terms of dark elixir though your first priority should be the archer queen and then your barbarian king that allows you to have a little bit more of a focus because the Grand Warden is one of the most important heroes at Town Hall 12 and then the Archer Queen. Now let's move on to the defensive front. Starting off with the Eagle Artillery, 400 damage per hit is absolutely no joke. This is a very important key defense to upgrade just alongside with the Town Hall since it is going to be one of the biggest damage dealers if left unattended. Your other main key defenses such as the Inferno Towers and Expos you should be upgrading. The next major thing that you want to upgrade is going to be your air defenses. To be able to defend dragons and balloons along with Lava Hounds just that tad bit better after this, you should focus in on your wizard towers to defend things like hog riders, the balloons, and of course other smaller units like sneaky goblins, goblins, etc. And then you should also focus in onto the Teslas. After this point, you can then go into some of your other lower weight defenses, such as the Archer Towers, which I would personally do first, and then into your cannons, which will still provide a lot of really good support. After this, the Bomb Tower and the Mortar. I would recommend upgrading the Bomb Tower first as it is slightly more useful and of course the Mortar upgrade. Overall, that is pretty much your Town Hall 12 upgrade priority for buildings. This gives you pretty much an idea and an overall recap of what you should be upgrading. 
I will leave a link down below if you want to copy this progress base. Now let's move right on into the lab upgrade priority, starting off with the dragon based attacks. Starting with the dragons, then the rage spell, and then the lightning spell allows you to use two different type of dragon attacks, mainly the mass dragon and the zap dragon. And you could also use a hammer of spells on your bat spells and then upgrade your free spells to then be able to use the drag bat. That way you can also use some other attacks like blizzard dragons as well that provides a lot of really good support early game whether you're farming or you're doing war. Moving along you then want to work on your witches and also your giants. This is going to be enough to start using the zap witch attack. Witches you could always use a hammer of fighting on or a book of fighting. That way it allows you to start using a really easy and very popular war attack strategy. I would also recommend upgrading your ice golems. That way you can use the really really fun IC5 where you can use the witches with bowlers and of course the ice golems. Though there is two levels to the ice golems so I would go ahead and recommend upgrading them probably during CWL time. My last recommendation is upgrading your hybrid and your Lalo attacks. The miners are a great thing to upgrade and you could also upgrade your hog riders during CWL time or you could also use dark elixir and a book of fighting and then a hammer of fighting so you can max it out for free. In terms of Lalo, starting off with your balloons allows you to then also use that with dragon attacks and also you get the rocket balloons. But along with that, you then want to upgrade your Lava Hound, where you will also now be able to have the Ice Hound, but not only that, but I should also recommend using either a Hammer or Book of Fighting if you want to upgrade it. Now, outside of all those other ones, other things that I would recommend are going to be things like the Wizard, the Pekkas, and the Yetis for Smash-related attacks, and then you could also upgrade your Barbarians and Archers, as remember, the level of your Barbarians and Archers from the Hero Abilities is mirrored from your laboratory and of course last but not least you should be going ahead and upgrading your e-dragons and baby dragons as they're still very good for funneling and can be used for either farming or war as most of the other upgrades in the laboratory can be done at your pace as most of them aren't really going to be super important at town hall 12. With the builder priority and the lab priority, how long is this even going to take? Well, using Clash Ninja, you can actually see just that. It's going to take about 34 months going from a new Town Hall 12 all the way to a max Town Hall 12 in terms of structures. Laboratory is going to take 17 months and your heroes are going to take 11 months. You can also see the amount of resources that you're going to need for each of these. This is very important because it is going to be a very expensive town hall and of course it is going to take a lot of time. Of course, if you guys want to go ahead and use Clash Ninja to track your upgrades, make sure to check them out down in the description below as I will be leaving a link for that so you guys can check out and use this awesome tool. Now, any good Town Hall 12 is going to need a farming base. And this is the one that I am currently running right now. This is a great one that I've been using. I don't really use any CC troops, and I've actually used this between Masters and Champions League. So this can still work with no defending CC, and also, of course, having those spread out storages makes it so much easier. My defense log is usually mostly one or two stars. Very rarely will they be three stars. And most of the time, that's like a higher town hall level, like town hall 13 or even a town hall 14 hitting me. Overall, this will defend really, really well for you. So I will leave a link down below in the description for you guys to copy this base. Now, of course, we also want to show you guys some war bases. Both of these are built by Precision Base Building. Here is the first one. This one is a very interesting style, and I will leave a link down below for this one in the description. That way you can copy this one. I'm not showing you guys the traps, mostly because I know some people may be looking for the base and looking for traps. And here is the second one. You may have noticed the recommended CC right over here, and that allows you to kind of see what I would recommend in the clan castle. Along with that, this base looks very interesting, and very similarly, I'm not showing you guys the trap, so make sure that you copy it down below. 
Make sure to check out my Town Hall 13 upgrade guide if you are going to Town Hall 13, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell, and I'll catch you in the next video. Corrupt, signing out.